असलम नमस्ते आई एम पूनम लोहाना फोर्थ ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट फ्राम इसरा यूनिवर्सिटी हैदराबाद आई एम गोन लाइट ऑन अ टॉपिक बैक्टीरियल कॉर्नियन अल्सर कॉर्निया इज अ बायकॉन्वेक्स ट्रांसपेरेंट स्ट्रक्चर प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ आई सो हिस्टोलॉजिकली फ्राम आउटर टू इनर इट्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ एपिथीलियम बॉमेंस लेयर स्ट्रोमा डेस्मेट्स मेम्ब्रेन एंडोथीलियम Definition: Discontinuation in normal epithelium of cornea associated with necrosis of surrounding corneal tissue characterized by edema and cellular inflammation, or can be defined as severe bacterial infection of cornea associated with hypopion and aridocyclitis. Hypopion is a collection of exudate in the anterior chamber. Aridocyclitis. is a inflammation of iris and ciliary body this is how ulcer look like central part is showing ulceration and the white part at the bottom is showing hypopion etiology staphylococcus aureus streptococcus pneumonia gonococcus moraxilla pseudomonas aeruginosa klebsiella and proteus symptoms pain pain is due to exposure of nerve endings or stimulation of corneal nerves spasm of ciliary body and in increased intraocular pressure blurred vision is due to edema and ulcer watering is due to reflex lacrimation photophobia increased sensitivity to light redness of eye is due to congestion of blood vessels signs swollen lids or edematous lids redness and congestion in conjunctiva ciliary congestion in limbus limbus is a border between sclera and cornea so it shows the ciliary congestion that is arranged in radial fashion purulent discharge in cornea there will be ulceration that is grayish or yellowish white in color cornea surrounding the ulcer is hazy due to edema and infiltration by inflammatory cells corneal staining is a taste in which cornea stain with fluorescent dye to detect damage to the cornea hypopion in anterior chamber aridocyclitis inflammation of iris and ciliary body due to toxins and inflammatory cytokines released from ulcerated area increased intraocular pressure treatment so to control infection we'll give antibiotics topical tobramycin and gentamicin ointment polyfex tobramycin that can be given at bedtime subconjunctival injection gentamicin systemic antibiotics that can be given when there is a scleral extension or when perforated corneal ulcer so to relieve the pain cycloplegic that is 1% atropin drops analgesics and anti inflammatory drugs that is paracetamol ibuprofen anti glaucoma drugs beta blockers carbonic anhydrase inhibitor that will decrease intraocular pressure vitamin c to improve the healing process treatment of desmetrosil desmetrosil whenever there is a damage to epithelium or stroma or there are no more present desmet membrane exposed and bulge out that is called desmetrosil so to treat that anti glaucoma drugs pressure bandage bandage contact lens avoid straining factors that is sneezing coughing conjunctival flap amniotic membrane transplant treatment of perforated corneal ulcer topical antibiotics pressure bandage bandage contact lens tissue adhesive glue conjunctival flap amniotic membrane transplant keratoplasty treatment of non healing ulcer if the ulcer is not healing we will give bandage contact lens conjunctival flap tarsorephy umbilical cord serum amniotic membrane transplant 
एंड थेरापटिक कैटोप्लास्टी थैंक यू